Hi guys, welcome back to another Pet Trader unboxing. Uh, I did mine backwards, so I did the May Bark Box box with the April Pet Trader box. So first one I'm gonna do is I'm going to do Bark Box first today. The girls are super excited. They were in a really playful mood before I started filming, so I feel like they're gonna have a lot of fun with these toys. So, for bark box, it looks like it's kind of, it looks like it's kind of like Egyptian themed. So, paper's super cute. So, we are going to just dive in. So, the first thing I see in here is the first toy, and it's Slug Bug Beetle Tug. So, it looks like it's supposed to be a tug toy. It's got a really loud squeaker on that. I'm gonna that. <laughs> so they look like they enjoy that toy. The next thing in here that I see is another toy. This is the Ferocious Pharaoh. This one's got a really high pitched squeaker in it. And we'll still let me with this. <laughs> looks like Lola's gonna be playing with the toys today. So the next thing in here is Butcher's Block Bones, and this is a <laughs> six-inch crunchy tube, and this is made of a hundred percent natural source of glucosamine and conditerone. She's going to town on that. So I will split this between the two of them later to share. Next thing in here is the first bag of treats. This is squawk like an Egyptian. These are chicken and berry treats. The girls always seem to like the treats that are berry flavored, like it's cranberry or blueberry. They really like those. Good girl. They smell a lot like cranberry. They both think I like those. They do like soft chews a lot better than the crunchy ones, I think. So the next thing I see in here is a piece of paper. It says it takes takes two to play. It says supervise, play equals safe play, know your dog so you know when they're biting off more than they can chew. Treats for eating, toys not for eating. If your dog breaks a toy into smaller pieces, it's time to throw it away. Tell us what's up with your pup. Scouts Honor is here to help if something in your bark box Bark box is not right for your dog. Let us know at no at play at barkbox.com. So that's nice. They give you that, and they are really um, good about customer service. When we were in the process of moving, our bark box got lost, and they sent us a really like a mini bark box that had like half of the amount. So it had two toys in it and a bag of treats, just so they could still have some of their bark box. Um, so that was really cool of them. They didn't have to do that. They did it completely free. They didn't charge us for it. So the next thing in here is sarcof Sarcopha and Gus. So it looks like it is a two-headed snake. And it says, squeakers and crinkled delight dogs with this unique sounds and textures. Packed with fluffy, or with, packed with fluff and covered in a snuggly short plush to rip or cuddle. So I think you can actually untangle these and it will turn into two toys if your dogs decide that they want to rip everything open huh there you go like this you like this <laughs> just being funny so the last thing in here is the treat pyramid so these also again look like soft chews. These are lamb, chicken, and pork. So I think they'll probably like these ones too. These ones are a little bit smaller. They kind of look like dog jerky. Like this. Can you sit? That was it. Can you catch it? Good job. Roll ready? Catch. Good job. So. That was everything that was in the bark box, as in treats and toy-wise. There was this um, 
age of the furrow thing in here and i think this just gives you some more examples of types of toys that can be in your bark box there is something else on the back that says a collar fit for a furrow make a royal collar and head in make a royal collar and heap praise on your magnificent pup tell your dog story by picking the holographic holographic graphics wow that match their personalities one find the collar on your bark box paper cut it out on the dash lines pick your favorite holographic stickers and place them on the bottom of the collar tape the furrow collar into place on your dog's collar when you're done take a picture of your mighty furrow and share it with hashtag bark box day so it has these little stickers that you can find to be able to put them on the collar i'm going to try and find that on the paper in a minute but so it has smooches snack stealing destroying toys begging bed hugging toots naps butt scoots howling and squirrel chasing if I had to pick it for Malibu, hers would be smooches, snack stealing, bed hogging, and begging. If I had to pick it for Miss Lola back there, it would be naps, toots, begging, and definitely destroying toys. She's our toy destroyer as she's trying to find her way into the kennel for some reason. Bye. So, let's see if we can find the collar that's supposedly supposed to be on here. Okay, so if you can see, it's this little yellow circle, so we can punch that out. Oh, we're supposed to cut it out. I don't have any scissors with me, but I will cut that out. It lets you know that right there to cut it out, and then it has five spots for stickers, which I think that is super cute. So that was our April Park box. So now we are going to do the May Pet Trader box. And I saw this like a little preview of this one and I was super excited. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the Pet Trader box. Lola's already ready to dig in. So the first thing I see in here is the little card and it has your standard pick of the litter on it. And then the last month's dog was Lilo. And you can tell it was the marked one. It's got the little shamrock bandana on. And if you just want your pup to be pick of the litter, all you have to do is uh, take a picture of your dog with the box or, you know, in the bandana or something with it. And then you just send it to them and you could possibly be featured. So the first thing in here after that is these rice chips. These are snacks for dogs. So these are 100% organic. It says... There's six calories per treat. It says feed is a treat, not a replacement for food. We will go ahead and see if they like these. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, they do not smell very good. Nice cookie. Lola, cookie. Lola's not a very picky eater, so she kind of... Lola's not a really picky eater, so she just kind of eats everything. Malibu's a little bit pickier, not that she just, she just doesn't like textures. Like, if it's crunchy, she's not really the biggest fan of it. So these are brown rice treats. She, Malibu ate it. I don't know if she likes it. Lola's back for seconds. So that was the first thing in here. The next thing in here is a toy. It says it's Mammoth Trievers. Toss and retrieve. It's a... It's filled with cork, so it's supposed to be like a water toy, so it'll float if you want to take your pups to play in the river, or if your dog really likes to swim. We haven't tested it with ours. Oh, I know Malibu doesn't like the water too much. She'll like sit in it, but she doesn't really like to play in it. Um, and Lola was too young when we had her last summer to be in the water. So we're going to test it out this summer and see if she likes the water. I don't know if you guys will like this toy that much. It doesn't squeak. You see? Maybe if we get her used to that toy and we throw it in the water, she'll want to go chase it. So the next thing in here is another toy. It is this little snake. It says it keeps squeaking when it's punctured, so it's nice. Especially if they were to rip it open and they break it. Lola really wants it. So this is the Outward Hounds uh, Invincibles. It's three months plus, which 
our dogs are. I assume they put the age on there for their teeth. Hi. Hi, Bean. What this? <laughs> so she went and took that for herself. They both are trying to play with it. <laughs> so the next thing in here is these quiet moments calming aids. And these help reduce stress, tension, great for storms, fireworks, and grooming. So it says active ingredients per two soft chews. It, I wanted to see what kind of made them calm. So it says it's got melatonin in it, which is what we have in our brains to help, like basically tells our body that we're tired. So I don't know if this is so much as a calming treat as a make them want to go to sleep treat, but we'll see. Um, it says for their sizes, which they are both between 50 and 99 pounds, that they each need four soft chews. So this would probably only last, there's seven, it says 30 day supplies, there's 70 in here, so 40 would probably last us if they need four. And I mean, yeah, we could probably get four, 20 uses per dog because there's just about 80 in here so we'll see if they like those Malibu is really the only one who uses calming treats Lola's pretty fine but Malibu gets a little nervous if we leave her um home by herself like if we had to take Lola to the vet or something and we leave her behind she gets a little nervous so I always give her calming treats if I ever have to leave her alone so the next thing in here is this go fresh pet it says it's a travel bowl dog on the picture is super cute so it's nice that it has like a little clip right here most of them just have like the plastic ones like the uh, doggy bags do and they break really easily so I like that this one actually has a clip so if you unzip it and open it it opens up to be two bowls so I'm assuming you could use one for food and one for water um yeah so that's pretty neat That'd be really handy to have if you like to go camping or if you like to take your dog on hikes, if they do well on hikes. This would be a really cool thing to have. We'll probably take this when we start taking the girls to the river into the ocean this summer. And then the last thing in here, I actually tried to open it a little bit earlier just because I wanted to uh, see if it works and even understand what it was. It is a water filter, I believe. It's Joy mangano water filter um it says remove carbon filter before washing use dishwash clean cleaners for your unit don't put it in the microwave not suitable for hot liquids so i'm assuming this is yeah this is the pet treater for your human which i haven't gotten in my last two boxes so i don't like with the sticker on it so i didn't really know like what my my part of it was but um, I guess this is just a water filter. Um, I don't know if it's for drinking water or what it's supposed to be for, but this clear part is the travel case. And then this itself is the water filter. So it's supposed to be BPA free, dishwasher safe. Yeah, so it's just supposed to take all the carbon out, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'll ever really use this. I'll try it out. Maybe it'd be helpful during camping if we want to boil some water. Um, but that's the only real use I could think for this. And it did come with uh, three filters in the box. It has one in here and then there's three more in the box. So it has gives you three backups. And then there was one of these little Emmy's Gourmet Canine Creations. And this, since this was the May one, May Flowers. And this is the Three Cheese Pleaser. So we are going to give this to them because they love this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cookie? Lola? Cookie? So that was our May 2018 Bark Box and Pet Treater. I will say that the, um, 
I guess the amount of stuff in Pet Trader has gone down quite a bit. I remember in my first boxes, I would get like a full box and I'd be overwhelmed with how much was inside. And now I got, I got these two treat type things. So we got these and then we got the calming treats, which I, I don't know how I feel about giving my dogs melatonin. I'll look, I'll look into it and see. Um, and I'd probably consult my vet and see what they say, but I got these two treats and then we got the The Emmys that I gave them and then we got two toys. And I remember we oh and the water filter, but we would get like three full bags of treats and um, like four toys and then They always include like something for your dog, but this was really cool I really enjoyed this in the box, but so that is everything in our May boxes if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, I try to put out new videos every time that we get a bark box in the mail. Or if I have a new idea, something to do with the pups, like cleaning out their toys. We'll probably be able to do some more things coming up into the warmer weather. We'll take them to the water. You guys can see how they act in the water. Or we can walk them downtown and just go play in the water fountain. But if you guys have any video suggestions or anything you'd like to see, leave us a comment down below. Thank you.